The Portland Art Museum is the oldest art museum on the West Coast and the seventh oldest in the United States. The first, indeed the only, objects you see when you enter the atrium to the main galleries are these, two complementary sculptures, one ancient and one modern, of nude bearded men silently contemplating vast and unanswerable questions about mortality and death. On January 21, 2012, just over half a mile away from the museum at the Crystal Ballroom, you could similarly find bewhiskered men contemplating significant rites of passage. But not only were these men fully clothed, well, generally fully clothed, but their ponderings were in celebration of a much happier occasion. This is the story of the second annual West Coast Beard and Mustache Championships. Nearly 140 competitors and over a thousand fans gathered here for one of the largest beard and mustache competitions in the world. This was a happy occasion by itself, but today's festivities were also to include something extra. The wedding of two of the Whisker World's most beloved residents, Steve and Savannah. Steve and Savannah, who had wanted to celebrate their marriage in front of all of their friends from the facial hair community. Justin, who organized the event with the Stumptown Stash and Beard Collective, was happy to oblige. Thank you very much for coming in, uh, letting all, all of us be a part of your day. Uh, I really appreciate it, uh, more than you'll ever know. There were lots of couples like Steve and Savannah at the Portland competition, where both partners are part of the facial hair community. That's one of the things I like most about beard and mustache competitions, how they welcome anyone to participate and be part of the fun. Both men and women can compete. It seems every competition these days has fake whisker categories, so the women can get creative and fashion their own fake beards and mustaches. And anyone who doesn't want to compete can just enjoy the spectacle and cheer the competitors. In fact, the Portland competition was also an all-ages event. It was fitting that entire families could come out and cheer the competitors, because, as Justin explained as he took the stage to start the event, Welcome to the 2012 West Coast Beard and Mustache Championships! Or as me and about 200 of my friends call it, our family reunion. So well Justin then introduced the judges, including Jedediah from the IFC television show Portlandia, and Trace from the world-famous Voodoo Donuts, who brought this fellow, as well as lots of regular donuts, for the competitors to snack on in the competitors' lounge. Justin did an excellent job as master of ceremonies, and did everything he could to get some of the more bashful competitors to actually present themselves to the audience. Make sure you show the crowd. You gotta get some love for the crowd. Oh, get out there for the crowd. Yeah, show them what you got there, Randall. Get out there, show the crowd what you got. Get out there on the catwalk. Let them see what you got. And now, without further ado, your 2012 West Coast Beard and Mustache competitors.
got my same hat. The next category is the chops category. Once the final competitor had crossed the stage, it was time to tabulate the scores and hand out the awards. I don't think the video footage really captures this, but I cannot overstate how excited all of the competitors were as the winners were announced. No matter who won, the reaction was almost always electrified and overwhelmingly loud.
Everyone's good sportsmanship extended even through the final award of the evening, for natural full beard over one foot. For example, although Jack Passion may be a controversial figure, the other competitors congratulated him for a second place finish just the same. And when Justin announced the first place winner, due to all of the noise and cheering, a lot of us at first thought he called Mike O'Connor, a veteran of the bearding circuit. In fact, everyone quickly realized the winner was Mike Lastra, a new name to most of us. His win may have been the most controversial of the evening, prompting many debates about whether his beard was the best or just the longest. But even so, many competitors approached him after the event to offer their sincere congratulations. Once the awards were done, only the final event of the evening remained, Steve and Savannah's wedding. You know, Steve, Savannah, congratulations to both of you. I was really privileged to meet both of you two years ago, and you've both just been wonderful people ever since. I'm so happy to see the two of you together and making this commitment to each other. I wish you all the best and a lifetime of happiness. The outpouring of affection for the newlyweds was incredible, but the wedding deserves its own video. For now, I don't think I could summarize the wedding or the day better than Justin did. I told you this is a family
Um, I'm Desi Devine, and this is Sugar June, and we're here representing the Beards for Breast uh, calendar, and some of our boys here are here uh, competing, and um, the funds that we are raising are going to go to the National Breast Cancer Foundation to help uh, with uh, early detection 